from beautiful downtown Redwood Shores, California, it's the EA Radio Show with Tony Bruno. Hello, sports fans. I'm Tony Bruno, your charming host. We've got all kinds of things to discuss on today's special training camp edition. Another example of broadcasting excellence coming up today. Don't you go anywhere. Stay tuned. <laughs> And now it's time for the part of the program that we like to call the EA Sports Question of the Day, where we give you, the caller, the chance to be the big star of the program. We're going to go back in time for today's trivia question. In this year, the American Professional Football Conference, which would later become the National Football League, was officially formed. All right, let's hop on the line and get a caller for this trivia question. What year was the American Professional Football Conference formed? Tony, I think I know this one. Is it 1970? Uh, no, it wasn't 1970. That was the year the AFL and the NFL merged. The NFL existed long before that. 
Okay, we need to take another caller for this trivia question. The American Professional Football Conference, now known as the NFL, was officially formed in the year... Hmm. I'm going to say, uh, 1900. No, not 1900. I think you're guessing because it was a nice round number, right? Thanks for the call anyway. It's time for me to give you my opinion about something that I think should be talked about, the coordinators in the NFL. I'm a big fan of the strategy involved in football. I know it's not just a bunch of guys out there running into each other. There's a lot of heady things that come into play. And the guys behind the scenes that devise the plays deserve some recognition by us, the fans. Anytime you see a crazy play work like magic, you think, hey, where did that come from? Well, it came from the mind of an offensive coordinator. Or when you see a team line up with one down lineman and six linebackers, you say, what the heck is that? A defensive coordinator thought that up. And you know, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But give those guys a lot of credit for all the hard work and the late nights they put in devising a game plan on how to beat their next opponent. It's not a cookie-cutter job. You don't sit around one day before the season and say, this is my plan and we'll execute it for the next 17 to 20 weeks. Wrong! It takes studying and planning, preparing and practicing, getting the team on the same page, reworking, rethinking. It's endless, unlike this segment. Let's see if we can get a right answer for our trivia question from the person on the line right now. Tell us what year you think the league was formed. Tony, my granddad was a player way back in the day, and I asked him if he knew this. His memory isn't what it used to be, but just in case he's right, was it 1932? No, unfortunately that's not right either, but it is close. Better luck next time, and say hi to your grandfather for all of us. Okay, one more try on this EA Sports question of the day. What year did the American Professional Football Conference get started? No doubt I have this one right, Tony. The answer is 1920. That's right. American football had been played for several decades before 1920, but the league was formed because of the problems that football was facing at the time. Things like rising salaries and players jumping from team to team. Hey, some things never change, do they? Thanks for all the calls. On the phone today, head coach Herman Edwards. Great to have you on the Tony Bruno Show. Thank you, Tony. Coach, here you are in another training camp. What's your philosophy for camp? What do you hope to accomplish? Training camp philosophy is, uh, comes in about two or three parts, really, um, when you think about it. First of all, uh, today's player gen is generally in good condition. So I think the first thing you want to do is uh, mentally you want to you, you, you test their toughness right away uh, as far as uh, what you ask them to do in the first week. I think that's, that's the whole thing. Secondly, you don't want to hurt anybody. You don't want to get anybody hurt because you really think about it. In the National Football League, once the season's over with, basically, they don't put on pads again for about six months. So you have to make sure you, you're all gun-ho after the season, and when the training camp comes, you're all gun-ho, and I think fans want to come out there and watch guys run around and tackle each other. These guys haven't hit anybody in about six months. So you have to be very, very careful on what you're asking them to do early in training camp. I think the first week, because as we all know, you have to get used to falling on the ground again. They haven't fell on the ground in about six months. They haven't tackled anybody. So I think that's another thing you look at. And I think the next thing you look at is you want to make sure that your young players, your rookie players, are getting evaluated correctly. I mean that in the sense of that it's easy to evaluate them when they're competing against other rookies. You've got to make sure that sometime during training camp, that they're going against the ones. They're going against the guys that are, that, are, that are pro football players and not rookies like they are because sometimes what happens is it gets diluted. You know, they're, they're playing against a rookie. They're a better rookie, so you think this guy's a pretty good player, but really the competition is the, the veteran guys, and how do they do against the veteran guys? You have to make sure that you schedule things in practice where they're competing against the veteran players. Head coach Herman Edwards on the Tony Bruno Show. Hey, Herman, what do you do in the offseason? Uh, offseason, um... Working with kids, I have a football camp uh, at home uh, back in Monterey that um, we have around 600 kids football camp, and uh, we do that for about a week. I enjoy doing that. Enjoy playing golf. Uh, enjoy uh, the quiet time I have with my wife. 
because she doesn't have a lot of that during the season. So uh, you get to, you get to finally realize that this is your wife. I'm your husband, and yeah, we've been married. Didn't seem like all year, but we we actually married, and uh, that's kind of important. So those type of things. What's your favorite aspect of coaching a football team? Watching players develop, uh, watching a young guy mature as a man, that's probably very, very important. Uh, you're talking about young people that uh, there's a lot of pressure put on them uh, now with all the notoriety they receive, uh, uh, with the accolades, with the money they receive. And when you watch a guy that comes in as a young man, and uh, in two or three years uh, when he's in the league, all of a sudden you watch him change. And I think if you've helped him change as a man, being the football coach, that's worth it. It really is because you know at the end of the day, see, when you're a football player, you don't have a career. It's an opportunity. See, you leave the game when you're in your mid-30s. Then your real life work starts. See, you know, and, and I think we forget about that sometimes. And the things that you can do to help young people to be better men of the future, that's great because when, you're, uh, when, when you have your priorities in your life squared away, you're going to be a good football player. And if you don't, then it's very, very difficult to be a good football player. Well, Coach Edwards, once again, thanks for being with us. You're one of our favorite guests here on the Tony Bruno Show. Thanks for having me, Tony. It's always good talking to you. All right, the entertaining and refreshingly honest Coach Herm Edwards, sharing his professional insight, something we try to get a little of every now and then with our coach calls. And this one is all wrapped up, folks. Well, we run out of time for this week. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Tony Bruno reminding you that if it's in the game, it's in the game. We'll see you next time on EA Sports Radio. I only see what I've not. Who's trying to